This is the solution to written homework 011. The solution um, to part A is the following that we're supposed to evaluate A74 and then if we number these uh, clauses as clause 1 and clause 2 then to evaluate uh, A74 we'll need to use uh, clause 2 because clause 1 is only invoked when the second argument is 0 so this would be um, A83 which would then be A92 which is A101 which is A11 zero. So all of those so far have all been clause two. So we use clause two, clause two, clause two, clause two. Uh, and then finally, because the second argument is zero, we'll use the first clause. So the answer is 11. <coughs> And then, of course, uh, you know that that must be true because, well, 7 plus 4 is 11. Okay, for part B, for part B, um, the reason why that's not defined is, is quite simply that negative 2, 5 is not an element of naturals cross naturals. Uh, this is because the first uh, element in the in the tuple in the ordered pair is not natural because negative 2 is not in the naturals. Uh, therefore negative 2, 5 is not in the domain of uh, A, function A. Similarly, uh, the point 5, negative 2 is not in the domain of A. So there's no definition. <coughs> so it's undefined. Okay, for part C, suppose we do it anyway. Okay. Well, if we try to do it with point two five, so we'll try it with that. A evaluated uh, at negative 2, 5, that is to say. So at negative 2, 5, supposing we do that, uh, well, add 1 to the first argument, subtract 1 from the second, and then add 1 to the first argument, uh, subtract 1 from the second, Again, again, so the answer is 3. So that ends up, that actually works because after all, negative 2 plus 5 is 3. So negative 2 plus 5 is 3. Uh, so that worked. What if we try So again, that would be clause 2, clause 2, clause 2, clause 2, clause 2, and then finally, to get to here, we used clause 1. So this worked. Uh, 
Uh, but when we try the other one, uh, 5, negative 2, in order to do that, um, so 5, negative 2, well, the second argument is not 0, so that means we add 1 to the first argument and subtract 1 from the second. And then we add 1 to the first argument and subtract 1 from the second. So that's using clause 2 twice so far. And as you can see, this second argument will never uh, be zero so it's not possible for this computation to stop there's an infinite recursion